White Island in New Zealand is one of the world's most accessible volcanoes. With only a third of its cone protruding from the water and one of its walls having fallen in, creating a sort of natural drawbridge, all it takes is a 90 minute boat ride or a 20 minute helicopter ride, and you could be stepping off directly into the crater. The island has a definite menace to it with the acrid air and the acid lake inside of an inner depression and the abandoned sulfur mine where in 1914, 10 men were swept away to their deaths by a mud avalanche. When this mine closed in the 1930s, the island was largely forgotten about for several decades until the 1990s when adventure tourism really started to heat up around the globe and locals in New Zealand started taking advantage by offering boat rides and plane rides out to this kind of otherworldly volcano island. And soon guidebooks were calling a tour of White Island an unmissable trip. Once on the island, tourists were taken on a very established route that started on the southern end of the island on a jetty. They'd walk up a dirt path, they'd go directly through the crater down to this inner depression where they could look over at this acid lake. And then they'd turn around and they'd walk right back, passing by the abandoned sulfur mine on their way back to the jetty. Tourists of all ages could complete this route in about an hour and a half. This volcano is very closely monitored by a geological monitoring service called Geonet. Every day they rate the danger this island presents on a zero to five scale, and tours are only allowed to take place if it's zero, one, or two. Anything above two and it's too dangerous. On November 19th, 2019, Geonet rated the danger of the island as a two, saying that it looks like, you know, eruptive activity is more likely, but still safe for tourism. Now make no mistake, anybody that went out to White Island was made fully aware of the risks of going out to the island, including that rating system. Hey, today's a two, so it's on the, it's on the upper bounds of what's acceptable. But that was part of the thrill of going out to White Island. It was like you're brushing up with death, but it feels really safe because the guides are out there with you and they're kind of joking about how it might erupt any day. You could be enveloped in an acid mist and obliterated by rocks. And people thought that was like kind of fun. And so when the rating was bumped up to a two, suddenly people were more inclined to go. It was more exhilarating. Fast forward a few weeks to December 9th, the GeoNet rating is still at a two and five groups of tourists headed out that morning for White Island. You had three big groups that were in three separate boats and you had two smaller groups that were in their own helicopter. They made their way out and they arrived around 1 p.m. and they began staggering tours up the path, down into the crater, down to the acid lake, and then back out again. By about 2 p.m., two of the large groups that came in on boats had finished their tour, got back on their boats, and were ferrying around just offshore, taking pictures of the island. And one of the two helicopter groups had already boarded their helicopter and taken off. At 2.09 p.m., 47 tourists and guides were still on the island. 26 were down near the jetty, waiting to board their boat to leave and 21 were still deep inside of the crater. One minute later at 2.10 p.m., one of the cameras operated by GeoNet to measure volcanic activity on the island snapped this picture of the 21 people down in the crater. Now, the image is not clear enough to make out individuals, but you can clearly see body shapes, and it looks like they are relaxed, walking in a straight line, making their way back to the jetty. For all but three of them, this would be the final picture of them taken alive. One minute later, at 2.11 p.m., the volcano erupted, consuming almost everyone inside of the crater, sending steam and ash and acidic mist two miles into the air, followed immediately by another explosion that went horizontal firing rocks and more acid and boiling steam in all directions. Of the 47 people that were still on the island when it erupted, 19 died instantly and two more would succumb to their injuries later. These survivors required so many skin grafts that New Zealand put out a global order for 33.8 square meters, the equivalent of 16 bodies worth. One tourist named Alessandro Kaufman was on White Island that day. He was one of the tourists that was in one of the five groups of people that went out. He was in one of the boats and he was one of the last people to get off right before it erupted, literally minutes before. And he was filming as his boat was loitering just offshore waiting for the last 47 people to leave the island. Here's what he shot. So I'm like, uh... Uh, 
Iniciamos às 10, são quase 2 horas da tarde, finalizando aqui. É isso, agora partiu pro continente. So that's going to do it, guys. If you found the secret in today's episode, let us know in the comments what it is and where you found it. So give us the timestamp. And if you're the first to do that, we'll pin you at the top of the comments section. If you enjoyed today's video and you haven't done this already, please put Icy Hot on the like buttons deodorant and then also encourage them to pet your dog because it's so friendly. But in fact, your dog isn't friendly. It bites anything that touches it. Also, please subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly three, four, even five video uploads. If you want to get in touch with me, you can direct message me on Instagram or on Twitter. My username is the same on both platforms. It's johnballin416. I also have a ton of content over on TikTok where my username is Mr. Ballin. If you have a story suggestion, please submit it to our subreddit just called Mr. Ballin. It's linked in the description below. So whether I see you on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, YouTube, or some combination, just know that I really appreciate your support. And until next time, that's going to do it. See ya.